The Daily Express International Trophy Race at Silverstone sees our Formula 2 cars being prepared to give their last ounce of speed to determined British drivers now meeting Continental aces on really even terms. The flag falls and off they go. Racing cars that will, in 1954, be the standard class in every International Grand Prix. An early race duel was between number 29, Peter Collins, one of the HWM team, and number 12, Alan Brown, in a Bristol engine Cooper. Prince Bera, number 25, overtakes Belgium's champion, Johnny Klaas. The veteran German champion, Paul Peach, is yet another ace driver in this fierce overseas challenge. After winning the first heat, Mick Hawthorne, number 11, lost many laps through a broken gear lever. But though, after repairs, he passed car after car, the handicap proved too great. Home hopes soared when number 32, Tony Roth, was seen in second place, just behind his teammate Lance Macklin, number 31. And there they stayed, first and second. And it's a real flag day for Britain, as Lance Macklin is flagged home, winner of his first major event. So well done, Macklin and Roth, and the Racing Drivers Club too, who, in the words of their President-in-Chief, the Duke of Edinburgh, had furthered the prestige of British motor cars.